Oi oi, it's your boy Hawker back with another video, this time looking at the battle for Banana. Banana is a highly contested and dangerous area of the map for two reasons. Firstly, because it's the main point of access for the T side onto the B site. And secondly, because where else on Inferno are you going to get your potassium from? Okay, okay, I hear what you're saying. Hawker, stick to what you're good at. Stick to the analysis, not the jokes. So let's jump into the video. So these two rounds come from Dreamhack Leipzig, where Big were able to come out on top. And I decided to look into these specific rounds because these were two back-to-back -back rounds where the adaptations for the fights on Banana were clear. So in this first one, Big are able to win the initial exchanges on Banana with Tabson finding a couple of fairly easy kills looking at it from his POV. And as we speed up to the end of the round, you get to see that after winning the trades on Banana, Big are able to use their numbers advantage to isolate CTs and win the round really comfortably as they double back over at A. So why do Big win Banana so easily in this round? Well firstly I'd like to showcase Keto's role in this big squad where he's been playing as an aggressive rifler oftentimes in tandem with Tabson to set Tabson up for some easier trade kills. And that's exactly what Keto does in this round. He puts the Molotov down at the top of Banana, and even though Keto gets caught out by a really quick shot from the MP9 of Cadian, he draws a ton of attention his direction and sets up Tabson really well. Secondly, right at the start of the round, Xantares is in position to throw these supportive flashbangs over the top of Banana. These flashes are obviously well placed to make sure the big players are not blinded while Heroic take the brunt of the flashbangs and this comes into effect on the second kill where Xantares picks up a flash assist. I think you also have to take into account that this is the first gun round of the game where Heroic have got the early lead. So you can be fairly certain if you are on the big side of things that Heroic have probably got one or two SMGs carried over into this round, which is why I like the fact that they're putting these flashbangs down straight away so they don't get caught by the run and gun of the SMGs. Thirdly, Heroic are playing a high risk, high reward round here. They're relying on their utility to set them up to either take away map control or take away kills from big to limit their options. There's obviously the nades on banana, including some flashbangs which don't connect in this round. But there's even an incendiary thrown down mid by Heroic to try to stop Big from rotating over to assist on Banana. Thankfully for Big though, Tabson extinguishes this and can support his teammate. And here's where the adaptation comes into play, because after seeing Heroic's aggressive stance on Banana in the very previous round, Big decide they don't want any of that this time round. Tabson lines up this smoke, which ends up landing all the way at the top of Banana, and combined with a Molotov from Keto, makes sure that Heroic's options for Banana aggression are limited. After ensuring that Banana is clear, Keto then puts a nice nade into one of the few positions left that Heroic could be playing on Banana. And then I think this is where the lack of practice with this five-man roster might cost big, because Keto ends up going in alone without much support, and even though Tabson eventually arrives with a flashbang to try to help his teammate, it's just too little too late, and Keto goes down all by his lonesome. Meanwhile, Heroic's adaptation after the aggression did not work out in the previous round is just to take a more passive approach. They just decide to play it safe, wait to use their utility when it's required to try and isolate some of the big players. This leads to Esetag eventually winning this fight just before he's blinded, and then to celebrate, he decides to plop a nade onto his own face. So that was just a quick example of how you can see not only adaptations, but also lots of different approaches to taking banana. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.